All right, welcome back to the bus. And today is going to be about the decal removal and the reflective tape removal. Have to get that off. And so first thing I thought I'd try was I got this uh, little rubber eraser wheel and that I ordered. It's supposed to work pretty well, but I found it. Uh, well, I was chowing through it quite a bit and uh, wasn't really working that well. It was cold. So I thought, well, let's warm it up with this blowtorch. And I thought that might uh, help uh, speed the process a little bit. And then I realized, you know what, those letters just kind of peel right off once you got them going with the blowtorch. So I decided that method instead rather than just chowing through and covering myself with rubber from that uh, from the wheel. And I like that system pretty well, pretty good. I suppose uh, probably paint enthusiasts uh, probably don't think this is great for the uh, paint on the bus. So I tried to keep it pretty quick and I hope I didn't damage the paint too much. It didn't do, look too bad when I was just sort of peeling it off. came right off pretty good. I had to be careful there. I didn't get too hot because I didn't want any molten uh, plastic uh, sticking to my fingers, molten rubber and vinyl or whatever that stuff. I think it's vinyl. And so I tried to be really careful uh, so I didn't burn myself. But it seemed to be going pretty well. Didn't get any burns and came off pretty quick. Next thing I had to do is get off the reflective tape, and I decided to use a similar method here. The blowtorch seemed to work pretty well. Again, on a hot sunny day, uh, it may not, it may come off pretty well, but uh, it was cold, so I need to get that thing warmed. And then I found this uh, paint scraper uh, that was really thin, and I did the best I could not to scrape the paint off. I, you know, got a couple nicks here and there. I don't know really how to avoid it. Um, but, you know, got it warm enough so that not melting it right to the to the steel, which made it hard to get off, but just softening it up enough, and I was able to get that right off. A couple spots there, they got to go back. You can see I kind of scraped a little bit, and I got a little bit of the paint there, which probably isn't the best thing in the world, but I had to get it off somehow, and I'm going to repaint the bus anyway, so hopefully I'll go back and prime that up and then paint it over when I'm done, but... After the reflective tape was over, though, it left this goo, um, this sort of glue that was hard to get off. So I got goo gone and sprayed that on there and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And then the original plan is set on the instructions to take some hot soapy water and scrub that down, which I did. Um, but it just if, if the glue was really thick, it just took forever and it really didn't come off that well. Uh, so I needed a better system than that. So uh, I sprayed it again, let it sit for another 10 minutes, and then I got the glue, uh, the, not the glue gun, the heat gun, and kept it warm and sort of scraped away at it, and that seemed to work pretty well. And it was, again, a kind of a slow, tedious process, but it was working. Kind of heard that glue along, come on, come on, come on, little doggies. And then, well, you kind of peel it off, well, kind of like a snot. Not real attractive, but... It's kind of what it was like. Found too, uh, sometimes if I, even if I didn't heat it, but if I got a good uh, spray of the goo gone, just kind of worked at it like this. I'd work all one down direction, do as much as I could, scrape it off. Then sometimes I'd come back from the other direction and then work up from the bottom and then herd that all together and scrape that off until I got most of it. And that seemed to work pretty well. Inevitably, it's tough to get all of it, so the little residue, I took the rubber wheel to it, and uh, that helped get what kind of, what little was left, and then I could take that little scraper and scrape that stuff off, and finally, uh, hot soapy water when it was all done, and uh, that seemed to clean it up pretty well. So it's quite a process, it took me a couple hours to get it all done, uh, but it's done, and I, I can just touch it up a little bit more, and then I'm going to sand the whole bus and get ready to paint it. So that's how we did the decals and reflective tape. I uh, hope that was helpful for you if you're interested in the process. And uh, thanks. I appreciate it for checking in. Subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit like. And uh, until next time, see you on the bus.